Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm standing looking across the beautiful Cheshire countryside. I can just see Manchester in the distance and the Pennines beyond. I don't know if the camera's picking that out, but it really is a lovely view. And just over there is the house of Hare Hill. I'm in the gardens of Hare Hill. And the gardens are National Trust, but the house isn't. So we won't be going in the house today. What I thought I'd do, I'm just going to take you for a little walk around some of the gardens. It's a really lovely place. This is one of the many ponds. There's a Lutchins style bench. I'm just going now down into the woodland here. This property, so it's got a mixture of woodland gardens. It's got a lovely walled garden which we're going to see and as I mentioned back there it's got some really quite nice ponds and there's a lot of rhododendrons. So it's not a huge property. You could probably any sort of want to be here maybe for you know a couple of hours so it's quite a nice place to come in for the morning a bit like I am today then I'm going to go probably going to go to all the edge this afternoon may or may not make a video we'll see um so it's um yeah, it's a very very pleasant place so the house was built by William Hibbert in the 1700s and then it was modified by the Brocklehurst family now the house is famous because it's where the wind in the willows was set now if you have a look there there's a car. That is Toad's car. There's various things from the Wind in the Willows set around the property. So what we'll do, as well as exploring the property, we can have a look at some of them. So I'm just going to head over here now. We're going to go to the walled garden, which is just the other side of those trees. So as I mentioned, the um, house was sold by William Hibbert to the Brocklehurst family. Just looking past these overhanging holly bushes and um, the Brocklehurst family they created the walled garden which is possibly the most famous feature here which we're just going to once I've ducked under another low-lying plant we're going to go in to the walled garden so this walled garden is um, now it's more of a pleasure ground but originally it would have been where they'd have grown you know like um, vegetables and fruit etc stuff for the kitchen so it really would have been more of a kitchen garden so it wasn't really a pleasure garden, that's why it's some distance from the house. But now it's a lovely place. What they've done is um, that pagoda, apparently that was created from bits of the greenhouse. They put them together and created a pagoda and grew wisteria up it. And now it's just a lovely grassy area where people come and have a picnic and just enjoy the summer sunshine. We're going to go out that gate over there. We're going to go and have a look at the woodland garden and the ponds which is um, another very interesting part of Hare Hill. So Hare Hill it's um, maybe about four or five miles away from Audley Edge. That's the nearest railway station so it's probably not the easiest of properties to get to without public transport but um, still nonetheless it's worth a visit. Um, there's another path that goes that way round back to the car park. We're coming for along here, there's some beehives. I'm going to take you around the woodland gardens because they are really nice. There's some ponds. Um, it's a very attractive place to come and spend a uh, morning or an afternoon. There's a greenhouse. So this is the back of the walled garden. And we are now heading into the woodland garden. It says, deep water, please keep to the paths. I like that little, um, little ditch shed. I think that's really quite cute, just sitting there in the woods. So the ponds which we are coming up to, they were also created by the Brocklehurst family in, to be an area where wildlife could flourish and they could plant various ornamental plants and um, it just made this really you know, attractive garden to walk around. Now, going back to Wind in the Willows, there is the, um, the carriage which um, would have featured in the story. So it's quite nice that they've got the car over there, they've got the carriage. On the other side of the ponds they've got the lake. So here are, they say there's three ponds, but technically it's actually one this shape and another one over there. So we can go over a bridge onto this one and um, we can have a look at some of the conservation work National Trust has been carrying out. So as you can see, 
these two ponds here, although technically in my books it's one, there's some ducks there, have got a lot of duckweed on them. And over there, you can just see that white, what looks like some white thing over there, that is the boat, part of the Wind in the Willows Trail. Now, as you can see, it says there's no access to this area while we're carrying out conservation work. So if you have a look at this pond, you can see there's no duckweed on it, and that's because it's been dredged. And if you look just down there, you can actually see the dredger. So no doubt the volunteers had a lot of fun dragging that along the bottom of the pond in waders. And um, you can see there's a load of sacks of all the um, silt that they've dug up. So this pond, the water level's higher. If you have a look just down there, you can see how the wood is holding the water level back. So I think the plan is to dredge these ones next. So it won't be all the colour of the duckweed, which you can currently see at the moment. I'm now going to take you down there through the rhododendrons and um, that will pretty much conclude this video. So yes, it's a bit of a short video, but I just wanted to give you a taste of Hare Hill. And like I said, if you're out Cheshire way, not far from Manchester as we could see at the beginning, then do come and visit. The one thing with rhododendrons, they are an invasive plant, but they do look really nice, especially in May. Now I think this path, where it's like a tunnel, is really nice, but I also appreciate they can be a problem because they are so invasive, they do block out all the light and stop native plants from growing. So, you know, they, they have their uses at certain times. So I think the plan is with National Trust is just to have a few, but not, not let them completely take over the garden. So I'm going to end this video here by the ponds at Hare Hill. I hope you enjoyed it and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.